good morning everyone it, today i'm presenting about randomized control trial of comparing the efficacy of a combination of rifasamine and lactulose with lactulose only in the treatment of overt hepatic encephalopathy in my moderator is dr ivasu in chapter volume 56 january 2018 others uh, shaki basan saikat datta uh, sharmushita samrajit sandeep dipanjan Introduction Hepatic encephalopathy represents a reversible decrease in neurological function associated with acute or chronic liver disease. The cause is considered to be the accumulation of neurotoxin and ammonia and inability to remove them from the bloodstream. One and, one and three year survival rates after an episode of hepatic encephalopathy has been reported to be 42% and 23%. This treatment has traditionally been with the non observable diaphragmatic along with antibiotic. and supportive measures rifasamine is a minimally absorbed oral antimicrobial agent that is con- uh, concentrated in the gi tract it has been shown to significantly reduce the risk of an episode of hepatic encephalopathy lactulose is a disaccharide which is fermented by anaerobic bacteria it is weak acid and gases which lead to acidity acidification of ammonia and its poor poor absorption research methodology objective to compare the efficacy of the combination therapy against the lactulose alone with the hypothesis that the response to treatment with the rifasamin and lactulose is non inferior to lactulose only study population all patients with chronic liver disease having encephalopathy after exclusion of metabolic and hepatic causes study design a non inferior type of randomized control trial was conducted among the patients of general medicine in north bengal medical college and hospital exclusion criteria age less than 18 years presence of neuropsychiatric illness presence of any intestinal obstruction or inflammatory bowel disease hypersensitivity to the rifampicin serum creatinine more than 1.5 hypoglycemia gait severe hepatic encephalopathy and the patient not given consent sampling by anticipation assuming a dropout rate to be 10% confidence interval of 95% power of 80% the sample size was calculated to be 46 each in test and in control arm data collection after enrollment the patient were divided into two groups one receiving lactulose 15 ml 3 to 4 times per day along with the rifasamin 400 ml thrice daily and the other group receiving placebo with lactulose and the follow up the patient were followed up till recovery of hepatic encephalopathy for a maximum of 10 days end point of the study any reduction in the stage of hepatic, en- hepatic encephalopathy was considered as improve- improved and any increase of the grade of the hepatic encephalopathy was considered as worsened statistical analysis captain year method was used to estimate the percentage of patient in survival l log rank test was used to look for the difference in the distribution of two groups uh, in the first one 20 patients are screened and then after that eligibility criteria 96 patients are enrolled in that 91 patients are recruited for that uh, random test after random test the 45 patients are assigned to their treatment arm another 46 patients are assigned to the placebo arm in that uh, treatment arm patient receiving rifasamin 1200 mg 3 divided doses and lactose 15 to 30 ml ml curious the other arm placebo arm receiving placebo with lactose 15 ml 15 to 30 ml curious of total 120 people trained for the study 96 was enrolled and randomized such that 45 would receive rifasamin and 46 would receive placebo in the trial the mean of the subset is 44 plus or minus 10 the majority of them were from the rural area this is the social demographic characteristics and percentage feature of patient in two groups in the two groups age most in between 44 and most of the patients are between male and female and percentage signs of the uh, constipation and tenderness is male and so on the same affects and the overall mortality was 25.4 percentage 68.4% of patients in the rifasamin and lactulose whereas 72.2% of patients on lactulose and placebo showed improvement in neurology status by one or more grade 
the arrival analysis by Captain Mayer method shows the mean survival in the placebo group to be the higher. This is the uh, Captain Mayer curve showing survival at different both groups. Some of the studies, the subjects felt that are similar in the both study arms. Nearly equal numbers of the two are in sensor level 2, 3, two, three 4, and this distribution lends well to the study of the comparison of risk tables between two arms. 91% of the population in the present study was alcoholic. Also, the leading cause of cirrhosis in India is alcohol consumption as the And the finding of this study may be applied in the Indian context. The limitation of the study is that uh, studies of this were mounted in the closed environment and this may be the effect to the, to the outcomes. The study does not take the, uh, into consideration the ecology cause of hepatic encephalopathy. This is a related studies, the long term management of hepatic encephalopathy with the lactose loss of rifasamine. And this study revealed that the addition of rifasamine to the standard lactose therapy may be resulting uh, substantial reduction in the healthcare resource utilization over the long term by reducing uh, overt hepatic encephalopathy recurrence and the associated hospitalization. Thank you.